Hey guys, so this time we're gonna cover uh, some more specific stuff on the knee cut pass. Uh, last video I did, I talked about like the different variations of the knee cut and how it's different in different situations. So I'm gonna start by covering what I think are some of the most common situations you do the knee cut in. So we're gonna talk about the knee shield today. I think with a lot of places I've visited, it's one of the most annoying guards that gives people the hardest time. Uh, I know going up through my career in jiu-jitsu, it gave me problems for a long time. It was really, really frustrating because it felt like the guy on bottom didn't have to do much work and he could like hold me there the whole time, all right? So let's go to the position. So this position will occur a couple different ways. Like maybe you just enter for the, the uh, knee cut initially and you're dropping the shin low kind of early like this and the guy already gets here, they usually get a cross collar. Um, it could come maybe you're in De La Hiva first and you try to do like a knee cut from here and then you kind of end up here, okay? And he's got the cross collar. He's kind of pulling and shielding, it's really frustrating. Um, so the first thing is I always want this knee up. Okay, generally for me, this isn't a problem. My knee is always up because I'm standing passive in the first place. If you're on your knees, sometimes this position can happen. It's a little bit more difficult to deal with. You just, in this situation, you need to get your knee up first. Okay, but if you're standing passing, that's a pretty uncommon situation in the first place. Okay, so the, uh, once I start looking for the pass, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure he does not get a hold of this sleeve early. Okay, so that looks like if I control this too much and he gets a hold of this sleeve, now he can do this, like Andre Gavallo does this sweep a lot, where you drive in and he'll bump you that way and you're off balance, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is I kinda of keep his hand posted out a little bit. It can be in the air, just keep it around like this, right? So then I just don't wanna give the sleep, okay? From here, I'll take my right hand and I grab like this material near his ribs over here, or you can do the lapel, okay? I just wanna get some pressure on his ribs this direction, okay? So here, I'm gonna press like this, and I'm just gonna use my knee, I kinda of take the weight off of my knee and put it more towards my foot, and I turn my knee towards his stomach. Okay, this is gonna turn his shield more up uh, vertical. It makes it easier for me to take this right elbow here and come on the inside, come, come around here. Okay, this, can, this elbow here can loop to the inside. Once I've cleared this position, I can now cut my knee towards the armpit here on this floor in the elbow knee space, grab a hold of the elbow now, Okay, I pull and I can slide through. Again, always finishing the pass inside that elbow knee space. See, good passing is like the opposite of the guard retention. I'm trying to take away the things that allow him to properly frame before I pass, right? If I pass and he's got the elbow and knee framed together, it's gonna be hard to finish, okay? Okay, so um, another scenario with this that can happen is the guy sometimes can like be, I just call it like an extreme shield. The, the shield is a lot more powerful. It's like almost downward with his top knee. And in this case, it's really hard for him to do much, but it's extremely annoying. In this case, usually when he's this far, it's harder for him to reach my sleeve. I will grab the bottom leg a little bit. And then I'm just gonna stand up and try to pull this up as I direct the knee in, right? Once I get, I just wanna go far enough that I can loop my elbow in. Once I do that, I don't need to worry about going any further. If you go a little bit too far, the guy might lasso or something like that. So we're here, I just direct up a little bit, elbow in, and now I start cutting the knee. At this point, I'm gonna look for the arm. He's almost instinctually gonna push. I'll catch the arm and slide through, okay? Uh, real quick, just some things that can come up, like the reason you may be ending up in the shield in the first place. When you're cutting, I generally don't like to do this, this like going this way, first thing because you're kind of bringing the shield into you, right? When I'm cutting, I want the guy flat and I lift my foot and my knee shoots more for the armpit like a nail first and I go forward with the cut, right? Then it's easy to look for these positions. I showed this in the previous uh, developing the knee cut video. So I think that's a common reason guys end up in that shield. Um, this kind of cut, like with the lapel, is more common like from De La Hiva. Maybe you folding pass, the guy pushes back really hard and then it's more natural to end up in this and I'm already framing. Okay, but that's kind of a separate scenario, okay? So, one more time. We're in the shield. This guy's giving us a hard time. Keep the left hand on the floor. Don't give the sleeve if you can avoid it. Really frame hard with this right hand for balance, okay? You can grab anything. The lapel, the material near the back, just stiff arm here. So he pulls, he pull. I'm blocking his pull, right? I use my knee to open a little bit, suck the elbow in, catch the arm, slide through and finish, okay? Um, in my opinion, like if you look at like the really good knee passers, like Lucas Lepre, Adolfo Vieira, Leandro Lowe, they all do this series. The leg weave pass is also really good. Uh, personally, I find with really flexible guys, it's a little bit harder to use. So I think if you do your a proper knee cut, uh, you won't really have to use the leg weave much versus the knee shield. You can usually get through with a strong knee cut. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions, please comment. Uh, and as always, if you like the video, please subscribe and share. Thanks a lot.